What the team at Immerse has done here is nothing short of spectacular. I'm pretty sure this is the best personal workspace app for the Quest there is. Welcome back to The Construct. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and fire up Immersed. And I have to be honest, guys, when I first set this up, I think it might've been my network or something, but it was really, really choppy and I wrote it off way too quickly. So I didn't give it a fair shot. So first things first, we can connect to either PC or Mac. Always nice to have those options. Let's jump into PC since we did Mac last time. So you can see here, that I have a three window panel, you know, similar to what you see in the Quest main UI. Um, I have the ability to move this, but you can see when I push this back, I actually have slots for one, two, three, four, five windows. Now, when I first loaded this up, let's open up our handy men menu here, pun intended. When I first opened this up, I was like, well, okay, how can I get the five windows? And I was blocked from doing that. And what I found was, I had to pay for five windows. And I'll be honest, guys, I looked at that and I completely wrote it off. I saw the 499 at the bottom of the screen. And I just said no, but I didn't take the time to actually read the screen. So that's on me. What Immersive has done here is really, really cool. They allow you to actually use the app. They've gamified the subscription. And if you use the app enough and work up a long enough streak, you'll actually unlock all of the pro features. You get those pro features for seven days once you've unlocked them, and then you work inside of Immersed and keep your streak active. It's really brilliant because it actually keeps the user base on the app, and then you're supporting the people who are actually using it for work and using it on a regular basis. Well done, Immersed team, well done. So you can see here, they've completely gamified it. There's power up, so like if you stop using it and you, you lose some streaks, you can actually purchase power ups. Uh, to keep yourself on. It, it's really cool. I, I think any option to give the user the ability not to pay, I'm with it 100%. So one thing about Immersed is that it's actually just porting your screens from your actual PC over to your headset. And unfortunately with Immersed and Horizon Workrooms, it does not port your keyboard to that machine. So you still need to be nearby. It's unfortunate that you're not able to just utilize pairing your keyboard and mouse to your headset and having that pass through to the device that you're connected to. You can see it works here in Windows, but I don't have any control over my mouse and keyboard because this PC is in a, in a room far, far away. So I'm going to switch over to Mac just because I'm sitting in front of one right now. I'm gonna open up the menu, go to computers, disconnect from my PC and connect to the Mac. So you can see here the resolution is really, really crisp. I can pull up this menu here go to my monitors and you can see in the monitor control i'm running at 1440p right now it looks really good at 1440p i know you can't see through the video but i could actually go all the way up to 4k for now i'm just going to leave it at 1440p because it makes all of the elements on the screen a little bit bigger uh, in 4k i have to pull the screen in so close just to make things out because it adds so much real estate to the screen it's, it's a little bit hard to read all right, so I actually haven't set up five screens since I unlocked the pro features by achieving the streak. So let's take a look at that. So it's telling me that enabling more displays is actually going to affect my max performance. But let's do it. It's for science purposes, right? For scientific reasons. Looks like it's still having some trouble loading that, that other one. So performance is being impacted. I'm not sure I should have enabled those while I was actually inside of Immersed. Maybe I should start them before I start a session. Let's try that. I'm, I'm gonna hop out of the session and then come right back. There we go. So that worked. So, you know, we, we rock and roll with it here, but let's see if the performance is really impacted as much as they say. Now you can see the dock is actually on the bottom one here. I'm gonna try something here. Now you can see here, they have the occlusion just like you saw in Horizon Workrooms. You can see, you can see I'm not actually using a Magic Keyboard, I'm actually using a uh, K-Cron K2. So it just pasted over whichever one you selected. But you can see they actually have this. It's a little bit choppier than what Horizon's doing, but 
it's there. It's, it's good. It's good to go. Let's see if we can start something up. Get YouTube going here. And you can drag between windows up, down, left and right, as you would expect, right? I'm gonna go ahead and mute it. You can see here, we can put that in full screen. Have YouTube over here. Photoshop's gonna open right here in the middle. But yeah, this seems to be working really nicely. I don't actually see any performance issues at all. So all the things that you would expect are here. But one thing that was very, very cool that let me know that the people over at Immerse were thinking about the individual user was portals. Let me show you that. So you see portals down here? I had no idea what this was until I tried one. So one portal, you can see here, well, let me move my monitors out of the way. I have way too many monitors now. Let's hide screens. But you can see if you have something on your desk that you need to see, like a cup of coffee that you might want to drink, you can put that portal here so you don't have to come fully out of an immersive space. Uh, you don't have to worry about punching it over if you were moving around, which I have done that, by the way. <laughs> so you can have up to five, which is really cool. So even if you're someone who's like kind of claustrophobic about not being able to see what's around you, you could maybe open up another portal and put one by the door so that you can see if somebody's coming in. And you can still enjoy your virtual surrounding, but have an eye on something else. Now, I don't recommend if you have to watch a child, you should probably just use your non VR workspace, but this could come in handy. So I'm gonna close this portal, so I don't need to see that. So obviously you can go into mixed reality mode right here. And mixed reality mode is just like what you would expect. But let me open up our screens again. You can see here, our video is still playing on our Mac. Everything is available. Now these windows don't have to stay on this grid either, which is really awesome. Now that's something that Horizon Workrooms doesn't have. So if you pop over the menu here and then go to computers and take off your snap grid, now all of the monitors are, are free floating. I believe I can move these outside of the snap grid, even when the snap grid's not there, but then they'll kind of automatically jump over there. So it's best to just turn it off and start moving things around. So you can do this whole thing where you have screens all over the place. You saw this in the spatial computing video on this channel when we talked about fluid. But yeah, so all that's there, you can do this. One thing I've heard people say is that when they try to work like this, um, moving your head that much is actually pretty exhausting. So, you know, when you're working in a traditional workspace, your head doesn't move much. You just kind of keep your head straight and work on what you want to work on, right? But let's go into some of the other features. You can see that there's a lot more available here, specifically public rooms. So one thing that's actually kind of cool about this is that people are in public rooms just working. You can decide whether or not you want to talk. You can turn your mic on. Um, I'm not going to do that here because I'll be talking, uh, but let's just join one and see if we can see other people there. Let's go to this cafe. So you can see I'm sitting here at a coffee bar very close to this gentleman here. <laughs> I hope I'm not unmuted. No, I, I think I am muted, so he can't hear me right now. But um, he's dressed very, very fancy. Let's go ahead and change seats because we're sitting way too close to this guy. You can see there's some other people there, but let's, let's go sit over here. All right, we're on the other side of the bar, but you can see that there are other people in this room. Now I haven't interacted with anybody here, but it's kind of cool. I've heard some people have just, you know, met people here and decided to uh, strike up a conversation. So it's actually pretty neat. So it gives you kind of more of a less dystopian, less lonely feeling that you know that other people are doing exactly the same thing as you. And um, you might meet somebody. Hey, I think it's a cool feature. Something you don't get in Horizon Workrooms for sure. If you're not into that, you have your own private rooms. You can sit in a different room. Let's leave the public room and go to my room. 
I just have one of the immersed worlds up here. You don't have to sit in the 360 photo. Like when we first joined, you can have these other environments here too. Let's try one more. Classic cafe. Oh, nope, can't try that one. So there are other places in the app you can see here that actually cost to upgrade, but you can see this other option here for credits. So there's, there's an option to use credits too. So let's go back to that profile page. Um, you can purchase credits. I believe you can earn credits. I think I have 27. Yeah, I have 27 right now just from using the app, but I could actually go in here and buy more as well. But honestly, guys, this is probably the most robust suite of functionality for an individual user. So you can actually invite people to your room. You can see here, invite only, open. So anybody on your friends list, on your meta friends list can actually join your room or invite only. You have a meeting link you can copy and schedule meetings there. Kick everybody out if you want. <laughs> So yeah, you guys are right. Immerse is a very, very powerful tool. Is it better than Horizon Workrooms? Yeah, in a way, it's different in that I would recommend this one for any individual who wants to work in VR. I, I don't know if Horizon Workrooms really works outside of a team setting, uh, but it is a little bit more powerful. You have the stylus controller to write with. There's things that are better there, but if you want to use an app alone, and socially immersed is definitely where it's at. Listen guys, the support on the channel has been phenomenal. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you missed the workrooms video, you can check it out right here. I'll see you next time in the construct. Peace.